In this video, I'm going to give a, a brief overview of all the reagents that are uh, used in the Vitros analyzer. Um, there's quite a few, and there's a bunch of different requirements for all of them. Starting with the micro slide, you have uh, reagents that are refrigerated and reagents that are frozen. Um, reagents in the blue box are kept in the freezer. And uh, also, um, reagents in the pink box for the micro slide are refrigerated. Um, so when you take these out of the uh, refrigerator or the freezer, for the refrigerator you gotta let them sit for 30 minutes in this packaging and for the freezer one hour, except for sodium which needs to sit for two hours before you can uh, put them on the analyzer. After you let them sit out, they can stay out for 24 hours before they need to go on the analyzer. This is what the micro slide cassettes look like. Some of them have this little white tab and you have to remove that. Moving on, we also have some consumables, electrolyte reference fluid and immunowash fluid. These just need to sit out for 15 minutes before you put them on the analyzer. Um, and then we also have some signal reagent. This can go straight on from the refrigerator. Um, the same thing for any of the micro tip packs. They uh, come out of refrigeration, they can go on the analyzer right away. And the same is true for the amino assay reagents. Uh, they come out of the refrigerator and they can also go on right away. Okay, just gonna go ahead and run through loading some of the reagents and where you'll find them is you click on the reagent tab and you will select uh, the reagent section you wanna go to, supply one, two, three, or four. One and two are for micro slides. And then three is for micro tip and four is for micro weld technology. So once you put that you wanna load and unload um, the reagent, it'll take a second usually and then it'll tell you when you can go ahead and remove the reagents and add the reagents. Um, let's see from here, you can also see things where you know it's empty, you can choose specifically to remove that um, if you click on it and you can unload and load. Okay, so this is the supply one and two, the micro slides. And um, you can see the green lights mean that it's okay to start opening them and removing the various cassettes. Um, just this little lid there has a spring on it. Make sure it doesn't snap back on you when you're trying to open it. Um, but you can just alternate taking them out and um, you can do the same once you go to load them. Um, just to note, if you do run out of the timer, usually it'll give you a minute to load if you're actually running um, specimens. If it goes over that, it will actually uh, force you to um, wait a while while it reads all the cassettes and checks the uh, volumes of them, or at least the amount of slides that is each one has. There's me removing the clip on the uh, cassette there. You want to make sure you take that off before you load them. And you can get pretty fast at doing this. Now, coming over to the other side of the analyzer, you have your micro tip and micro well. So three, supply three is your micro tip. Um, you can just take those out, you close it, it'll cycle to a new position, and then you would open it again when the light is green, and you would load a new one. And then on number four, you can see it's the same thing. You open it up when the light is green, you can add a uh, uh, reagent pack there and you close it and it'll cycle to the next position turning green when it's ready to be opened again. Finally we come to the signal reagent which is located just to the left of the sample loading area. Uh, for this one you just take it out of the refrigerator and you pop it in the holder. That's it. Thank you.